This is the flight deck of the United States ship George Washington, aka CVN 73, which is 4.5 acres of blue collar steel and American diplomacy. This flight deck is normally packed with cutting edge technology, gray jets, carbon fiber, deck plate leadership, and bona fide warfighters. But today, no tip of the spear here. We're launching and recovering Navy T 45 Gossock trainers for Naval Flight Student Initial Carrier Qualification. Instead, we have nerves, open back seats, fear and trepidation, and the small glimmer of hope that these students too, one day, will become naval aviators. Let's get to it, play by play, from the flight deck of the Spirit of Freedom. Welcome aboard. We're just beyond the foul line for Catapult 2, which is the inboard bow catapult, where we're watching the shooter in yellow, talk to the catapult center deck operator in green. Together, they're selecting the CSV of the capacity selector valve settings for the catapult, which vary for each aircraft based on gross weight, the ever-changing wind conditions over the deck, density altitude, and even the current temperature of the catapult. Looking to the right of the tower, we see an aircraft getting waved off from flying up and over the LA. With a thumbs up from the catapult center deck operator, the shooter tells the director to move the aircraft forward and to hook it, or put the aircraft's launch bar over and forward of the shuttle, so now when the catapult fires, the shuttle will take the aircraft with it. The bow is clear as the topside petty officer near the nose gear of the aircraft signals to the director to put the aircraft into tension. There's the topside petty officer, and that's the hand signal for tension. When he sweeps one arm and points forward in the direction of the launch and holds it until tension is taken. There's tension when the jet squats down a little bit as the shuttle moves forward, but the hold back bar holds the aircraft in place. Now the topside petty officer runs away with his thumb up, indicating the aircraft is in tension with a good hook. And now the director's pass control over to the shooter who says, run it up. Now the pilot brings the throttle up to 100% or military rated power, verifies good engine instruments, good hides, good bolts, wipes out the flight controls, and when he's ready, there it is, the hand salute from the pilot to the shooter. The shooter returns the salute, puts his right arm up in the air to indicate final ready, and let's pause it right here. After receiving the pilot's salute, but before giving the signal to fire, the shooter has to run through a few final checks to get this aircraft off the deck safely. Let's watch him do it live and then we'll break it down in slow-mo. First and foremost, the shooter has to check for a green bow safety light, ensure that no red suspend lights are illuminated on the flight deck, and lastly, make sure the catapult's still in final ready. Next, he'll give the winds one final check at the center deck operator's position to make sure they're still within limits. Then he'll check the center deck operator the topside petty officer, and the plane checkers for their thumbs up. After that, he'll ensure the pilot's head is steady, he's facing forward, and ready for launch. If the deck's moving around or pitching, he's got to time the launch so that the signal to fire will be given when the deck is level or pitching up, and he's got to make sure there's no aircraft that's about to recover that could potentially bolter and cause a sequencing issue off the bow. When the shooter determines the aircraft's ready to go, he'll give the signal to fire to the deck edge operator by sweeping his hand down, touching the deck, and returning his hand to the horizontal position in the direction of the launch. Fly Navy. All right, let's reset and walk over to Cat 1 where we'll watch one more launch, except this time we're gonna focus on the role of the plane checkers. We'll talk about the suspend or the discontinue procedures for a launch. And lastly, we'll get to see the deck edge operator push the fire button. Looks like a jet just snagged a four wire and you can see the top side petty officer standing right on top of Cat 2 with the whole back bar that he just removed from the catapult. Going over to Cat 1 now. Director's telling the pilot to move the aircraft forward slowly as he puts his launch bar down the nose gear launch track up towards the shuttle. A little more, a little more power, a little more power, he says. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, and stop. The topside petty officer looks at the launch bar to make sure it's properly positioned. And now he's looking at the shooter. And now the shooter tells the director to hook the aircraft. The director's signaling come up on the power as you see the jet creep forward. A little more, a little more, and there it was. Let's watch that one more time as you see the launch bar slowly creep forward and fall into position where the shuttle can now grab it. The launch bar is now forward and over the shuttle, and the topside petty officer checks it for a good connection. Signals for tension. Now the pilot takes his feet off the brakes, puts the sparking brake in as you can see the shuttle pull forward just a little bit as the whole back bar holds the jet in place. Topside petty officer gives a thumbs up and runs away. Director passes control over the shooter and the shooter says run it up. Shooter glances over, checks the winds one more time. Good engines, good hides, good bolts. 
wiping out the flight controls, and let's pause it right here. On the aft port side of the aircraft, but in front of the JBD, you'll see a sailor in green crouched down. He's a plane checker. There's one on each side of the aircraft, and both plane checkers are responsible for the integrity of the aircraft on their side. When the pilot runs up the power and wipes out the flight controls, both plane checkers will verify that the flight controls on their side of the aircraft are moving freely. They'll also verify that the panels in the aircraft are closed, there's no leaks, and no indicators of fire. Once the plane checkers are satisfied that the jet's ready to fly, they'll switch their hand signals from a clenched fist to a thumbs up, and they'll hold that thumbs up until the jet leaves the bow. If at any point a plane checker or anyone else on the bow needs to cancel the launch, They'll signal for a suspend by making an X with both arms crossed over their head. Once the shooter sees that hand signal, he'll give that same hand signal to the deck edge operator who will safe the cat and discontinue the launch. Let's go live. The shooter's doing his final checks and in this case, everything looks good. And so he crouches, pats the deck, points forward, and let's pause it right here. If you look on the starboard side of the aircraft on the catwalk, you'll see the deck edge operator with his hands up in the air. After receiving the signal of fire from the shooter, the deck edge operator will sweep forward and sweep aft, looking for any reason to suspend the launch. If everything looks good, he'll put one arm down, push the button, and then watch the show. Fly Navy. Well guys, if you enjoyed the jam today, please like, leave a comment, subscribe. And a big thanks to Tater and the crew from the G-Dub for making it look easy. Appreciate you, fellas. Welcome to Growl Jams.